Armin Georgian joins me on the set to talk a bit more about the recall vote today. Armin, we heard there in that package talk of a number of scandals linked to Gavin Newsom. What are those scandals exactly? Well, last year he was caught uh, celebrating uh, an event at a very expensive restaurant in California uh, where there was mixing of households and he was not wearing a mask. And of course, he had been asking Californians to avoid precisely that sort of gathering and to avoid mixing households. Uh, so that was a blow for his credibility. And there was a similar accusation of double standards when his children were receiving in-person education in a private uh, school where while many public schools in California still remain closed uh, because of COVID restrictions. Uh, so this fueled the charges of, you know, one rule for those who have the money, uh, the elites, and another rule for everybody else. Actually, Jeannie, we've seen similar accusations in France and Britain. You remember in France, the allegations of a private dining facility for French politicians or the scandal surrounding Dominic Cummings, who was Boris Johnson's advisor. Again, the same accusations of one rule for us and, a, and another rule for them. Uh, so all this damaged Gavin Newsom's credibility. But there's also the question of his record, uh, and that is obviously what his opponents are really trying to hammer him on. Uh, the crime, the uh, rising cost of living in California, the fact that a lot of people have left now because it's simply too expensive, uh, the, the taxes, homelessness, a whole host of issues, brownouts. Uh, let's take a listen now to uh, Larry Elder, who is Gavin Newsom's main challenger from the Republican Party. So we've got rising crime, rising homelessness, an outrageous rise in the cost of living, declining public school standards. We now have five seasons here in California. The fifth one is the fire season. And that's because of the poor management of our forests. Gavin Newsom wants to blame it on climate change. Climate change, from what I can tell, has very little to do with it. Armin, this might seem like a very local issue, but the stakes are actually quite high for Democrats nationally as well, linked to this recall. Well, in practical terms, if they lost California, that could have an uh, in, impact on the Senate. At the moment, uh, Republicans and Democrats are tied 50-50 in the Senate, but Vice President Kamala Harris can be uh, the tiebreaker. So that way, the Democrats have a tiny majority. If Larry Elder were to become California governor, he says he will appoint a Republican senator if there was ever to be a vacancy, uh, which means that there would no longer be a 50-50 balance. Uh, so the Democrats are understandably very concerned about that possibility. That's one of the main reasons why they've pulled out all the stops, sending Joe Biden, sending Kamala Harris and others to support Gavin Newsom. But I think also, of course, you know, you've got to think of the context of the midterm elections. Uh, usually the party that is out of power is the most mobilized and fired up. That at the moment is the Republican Party being out of power. Uh, so the Democrats also have a very big incentive to try and mobilize their own side uh, so that they don't just stay away and have a, a Republican getting through and becoming uh, governor. So uh, for all those reasons, it's the stakes are very high for 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 the Democrats. And of course, you know, the fact that uh, Biden's under pressure because of the Afghanistan withdrawal, uh, the pandemic, which is continuing. Uh, his presidency's obviously come under pressure through those two things and the, uh, the events at the southern border as well. So all of this, I think, points towards uh, a democratic effort to try to have a good result in California to show that they're sort of in control, if you will. Armin, thanks for that. France 24's Armin Georgian.